Hey everybody, welcome back to a kind of, I guess, special episode of Coal Creek Park. Uh, today's episode, I am uh, actually going to be showing you how I built the grizzly coaster that we kind of ended with in the previous episode. Um, I know I had mentioned that I lost these files, and uh, that was at the time true. I was unable to show you the building of the coaster structure because uh, the files were kept saying they were corrupted, corrupted, yada yada, and... Um, I was able to run a lot of the files through this program that I had found, and it was able to save two of the files. And the two I was able to save were back-to-back -back files from each other on the same day, and that was when I built the structure, the main structure for the Grizzly roller coaster. So that is what you're seeing here. Is uh, kind of my first adaptations and first run-throughs of uh, this coaster. So um, yeah, so that's kind of a look in the past, and that's why I'm going to name this episode, I believe, like 6.5 or uh, something like that, because it's uh, not entirely all new stuff, um, but it's a lot of looking at how we got to where we are uh, with the Grizzly Coaster, and that's going to look at some of the new stuff um, that I built with the coaster as well. Um, the second half of the ride has given me pure headache, and I've redone it now. I'm not even kidding you, probably about six or seven times from what you saw in the original uh, from the previous episode of Cold Creek Park. And um, I have it down to something now that, uh, just you'll see, you'll see, we'll get there pretty, pretty soon. But uh, we also have uh, something new uh, coming at the end of the episode as well. I couldn't uh, just have all not new stuff, but it's not that big of a addition to Cold Creek Park. It's more of a um, making the park uh, fill out, making it feel whole. Uh, kind of rounding it out if you will we'll uh get to that here kind of soon but uh yeah so there is the first half of the grizzly roller coaster there uh kind of saw how i got to there and uh now i think we're going to transition more into the uh, pesky second half that i was talking about and um you can also see that the color changed that's how much time has uh, elapsed in between there i changed the color scheme uh, quite a few times and uh this right here is I think adaptation number six out of seven and uh, finally about halfway through this clip here you're gonna kind of see me get my footing on what I would kind of like the second half to do um, I'm still not entirely sold on it per se it was just really um, it was a struggle because this ride uh, like all the excuse me all the rides that I have in the park play on terrain a lot and oh my gosh I'm kind of kicking myself in the teeth or doing a terrain park. I was like, oh, I'll do a park based on Silver Dollar City or Dollywood or what have you. No problem. It'll be great to work with terrain. Wrong. <laughs> like, oh my gosh. There's some stuff that's coming up in uh, episode seven, eight, or maybe even nine that I'm working on now for future expansions of the park. Where I'm just like, oh my gosh, dude, the terrain is not fun to work with, especially with the path thing. But that's a whole different thing. Um, but anyways, uh, yeah, this coaster here, let's get back on track. This coaster here uh, kind of wrapped up that second half there. I was pretty happy with it. Um, and uh, yeah, then we kind of wrap up into the station, which I know we saw in the previous episode. I know I keep harping on that. If you haven't seen the previous episode, I would recommend uh, going back and watching that or uh, any of the previous episodes of this park and just catch up real quick. Uh, but you did see this uh, station in the previous walkthrough here, and that's basically how we got there. And um, yeah, it's just a nice quaint little station here. And uh, after this clip, it's going to lead into some new 1.4 update uh, content. I was messing around with this uh, last night. Um, oh yeah, I should say today is uh, Thursday, so happy Thanksgiving to uh, my my fellow Americans out there. Uh, yeah, happy Thanksgiving, you guys and gals. I hope you all are stuffing your faces, having a fantastic day with your friends, family. Uh, you know, yelling at each other halfway through the day when somebody has enough drinks to know about politics, watching Aunt Louise get a little loaded and dancing on the table, watching Grandma take her teeth out and. You know, it gets weird, but you know, that's normal American family, normal American holiday right there. So there you go. Uh, my girlfriend and I are uh, going to be spending ours uh, going out to eat today. We are on our first day of getting ready to move out here. Um, I know y'all have heard me harp on it in the past a little bit, but um, yep, today is finally the day we are packing up. Well, we've been packing up for about a week now, but we are packed up and ready to put our stuff in the cargo van and trailer and uh, probably head out from Denver here uh, either tomorrow morning or tomorrow afternoon-ish. Depends when we get um, all of our plants. That's the biggest thing packed up. We have about 20 plants that we need to pack up and get ready and that's going to be a process in itself. But uh, yeah, we're getting that process going here of moving. Um, 
kind of a reason why I wanted to pump a video out to you now, even if it is just a quick little look back, because uh, I might not be able to make a video here for a week or so, depending on when we can get you know, uh, the internet going and kind of get settled in at our new place there. So we'll kind of play it by ear. So uh, I just appreciate anybody that kind of watches these uh, or waits for these to come out. I know I don't have a set schedule yet. I mean, that's going to change here soon, but, um, you know, bear with me. I might have to take a little bit of uh, more time in between episodes, but I, I am continuing this. Don't worry, continuing this. And we have our collab park uh, coming out soon as well. That's more of a Disney style park. And that one I'm excited to show you guys too. That's a whole different architecture st uh, structure style than this is. And it's a whole different um, way to test myself. And it's a lot of fun to do that. But anyways, let's talk about boom, 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 boom. Sorry, that was like custom music. Sorry if that resembled anything royalty free. Come on. Uh, but there's our picnic benches. Uh, DJ hype beast noise right there. Uh, yeah, that's. <laughs> I love how the community of Planet Coaster has rallied around picnic benches. Probably just because, like, you know, we were promised them or shown them. Uh, in like alpha stages and i think even before like alpha kind of thing it was like one of the first images that they dropped to us for first little uh, gifts if you will uh and yeah just everyone it's been so funny to watch uh everyone make polls i think it was day lady designer on twitter put a poll about what are you most excited about for the update and she included the picnic benches and i think that won by a long shot so it's just been really funny to watch that and um i definitely love the picnic benches they had a whole different detail different level to the park um and i think my favorite thing at least so far uh from a design aspect has probably been the curbs and barriers it has made making plazas and food courts and just i mean just in general like making big plazas and stuff very very simple and um yeah i love those things being able to put scenery out in the middle of pathways now and kind of direct guess where you'd like to and um, they're really neat because they don't have to be visible uh, that is the curbs and uh, barriers you can kind of sink them down and it still manipulates guests really really well and uh, that's really exciting so uh, that's really fun there so and now i see we are kind of transitioning out of the grizzly area still incomplete again that still very much incomplete over there. I'm, I go back there whenever I kind of get inspirations for it and I have a general big idea for the second half of that coaster where it's all empty and uh, just not done, but uh, it's going to be a piece count nightmare full of rocks and rocks and rocks and rocks. Oh my gosh. Anyways, that's soon to come. But here is that new section that I had promised you. So this is something that uh, I had wanted to do for a while, but I didn't know where I wanted to um, quote unquote cap it off, if you will. And that's, um, I wanted the front half of our park here, this first little section to uh, kind of be a circle, circle. Uh, so that it's always coming back and that's uh, in design for me at least I notice uh, something that is very good to do is always kind of have your guests have a way back so you don't want to straight line to the very back of the park and then you know straight line straight back to the park so it's like a dead end you want to you know have little outlets for them to get back guest flow is uh, very important in that aspect and that's what this little bridge here that I uh, am making uh, did it, it makes the entire place a circle so you can go down the main street normal to your left towards the grizzly which is off to the back left corner of the park and or you can go then to the right which circles around towards the rock bolter mountain landscape area so yeah just like i said it just brings it all full circle makes it an easy out for the guests and holy cow when i put this bridge in put this path work in all of the guests you know when you put something new in the guests kind of do that thing where they um will kind of stutter a little bit and kind of like walk back and forth for like a second every single guest did that like they were rethinking the route because they were like oh my gosh this is so much better and it is it, it makes the flow, park flow a lot better here and um yeah this little bridge way leads into like i said at the beginning of the video <clears throat> excuse me a uh, not a big section at all just a nice little transitionary little uh courtyard almost little square um with its centerpiece being and some of you may have this in your park now um it's up on the scene workshop a nice little uh clock like little clock tower kind of thing and uh, my inspiration for that oh and I, yes it's on a steam workshop that's what i was getting at a lot i've noticed some it's gotten some traction some people have really taken to it um but yeah that's kind of the centerpiece over here and I, that was the the idea from it came from like my local mall basically when i was growing up we had about two or three malls in the area two of them directly in the city one more that was probably about 45 minutes away near chicago that was ridiculous that we would go to like once every three months just to like blow our little you know uh, farm board line kind of thing but <laughs> um and yeah they would always have these like kind of 
wrought iron clock structures there, like clock tower structures. And I realized as I'm talking about this, like I'm totally off where I thought I put that footage in. So you're like, what's he talking about? <laughs> It'll come soon. I'm sorry. Let me just rephrase that and we'll talk about what I'm doing now. Um, this is a new little, I like to call it um, intermittent section where it's, you know, not a big ride is going, but you know, it's still a little area, a little walk transition area. So, um, we put our chair swing there on top of this little hill and it's so great for views and it's going to be so great for views on the back of it as well. Um, it just gives them a great perspective of everything that we've done in the park so far. I mean everything. They get great views from that chair swing and I do that often as I'm uh, building rides like that, like flat rides um, and I put them specifically up on hills and stuff. I'll ride them a lot as I'm building stuff up to make sure that the guest view is always good and uh, I think I've kind of harped on that in the past and now uh, sure why not do it again I have time to fill right let's talk about stuff we've already talked about <laughs> um is a uh, guest view versus designer build view build designer view uh I always have to remind myself oh and here's the building of the clock starting I, I just noticed that's a video um but yeah design view versus uh build view or sorry design view versus guest view hi there we go we made our way there and uh, i have to remind myself about this all the time where i'll be building and i'll think oh this all looks great from you know a bird's eye perspective but it's like i gotta remind myself i'm not building for a bird or like a tree or you know a flying the plane that's flying above the theme park like i'm building for the guest perspective so i'm always like tejid cam is my number one thing i think every single staff in my park is called tejid cam at this part at this point but um yeah and I, i'm always walking around my park as Teju cam view to see how it all looks because you can you'll really notice some stuff um especially if you're terraforming a lot and uh, putting a lot of uh nature as uh mike sheets would put uh nature items it's definitely good to look at the guest perspective of that so um, there we go uh, just kind of touching on the ending part here of the clock uh that's the clock structure like i said my inspiration came from different malls that i've been to and they always seem to have these kind of clock tower structures um and yeah that was kind of my arrangement from it and go but yeah this little area here uh it was kind of funny it took me the first time around and that is very noted the first time around uh it took me the first time around probably like two or three hours and i know it seems like a lot but i like i kept doing ideas i just i didn't like the different terraforming wasn't working out and buildings weren't coming out how i wanted them to and whatnot yada yada you know how it is when you first your first draft over a place if you will um so i did all that got it completed i was pretty like yeah awesome cool you'll see it in this video it looks okay and uh then steam decided to do an update and it like closed out planet coaster it didn't give me a prompt or anything it was like yeah you're done by the way we have to update so bye I was like, oh, oh okay yeah don't give me don't give me a prompt or anything on a game where you <laughs> build for several hours and like uh, yeah the autosave function kind of works but for this moment for whatever reason it didn't like register the autosave for like an hour so yeah basically all this was gone that's what i was getting at just like the majority of the work was just gone um but like i said it was kind of okay i've talked to other designers and builders about this before where um, they'll be doing hours and hours of work on stuff and then yeah that'll happen where they'll lose all of their stuff from a little glitch in the game usually with the uh, rotation and the uh X grid and whatnot, the uh, X axis grid and whatnot. Um, but yeah, and we'll just talk about how that really, really F word sucks, but it's kind of like okay in a way because it was like your first draft and you can go back later, you know, have with the idea in mind what you want to do this time, exactly how you want to do it. And then you can go back and make it like 2.0 version upgrade. Uh, you know what I mean? So that's kind of what I did here. Um, everything is pretty much in the same area. I just kind of um, upgraded everything, made it look just that much better. Um, and unfortunately, you don't. I didn't get a video of it uh, this time around. Uh, I just finished it up and I didn't record it, but uh, that will be shown up in the next installment there. So um, I'll tell you what here, I will go ahead and wrap up. The video is coming to a close here pretty, pretty quick, pretty, pretty quick. And I've been ignoring my girlfriend. She's been packing for long enough. <laughs> I'm sure she's giving me the stink eye from out there. But um, again, I really appreciate everyone watching this video or you know any of the other little uh, Planet Coaster videos that we've been putting out here in the past few days. And um, yeah, so go ahead and keep an eye out in the next coming weeks uh, for another episode of Full Creek Park and the Collaboration Park uh, coming out very, very soon. So hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, Follow me on Twitter. I'm active over there with the community. I'm uh, talking to you guys. I really appreciate the follows and the and all that stuff.
so much fun talking to everybody. And um, yeah, I can't wait to see you next time.